Hi, boys and girls. I have another story with us today. This one is called The Magician's Hat. It's by Malcolm Mitchell. And this story is going to be about a magician that's going to perform at a library. Kind of an odd place for a magician to be, but sometimes they do go to libraries to perform. So we're going to find out what happens when this magician performs at the library. It's illustrated by Joanne Lou Verhoff. And there's our cover there, so you can see a little bit better. And the kids are all peering inside that magician's hat. Family fun day at the library was filled with exciting events. Book scavenger hunts, storytelling, reading rallies. That looks like a very cool library. Reminds me a lot of our library when Mrs. Kane decorates our library. Very neat. Today, for the first time, a magician arrived with a bag of tricks and a big hat. Everyone gathered around to see the magician perform. He bent a spoon just by looking at it. He made playing cards float in front of his nose. The magician could even make a coin appear from a puppy's ear. When he waved his wand, a banana vanished. This was just the warm-up act. Now the magician was ready to dazzle the crowd with his favorite trick of all. The magician's magic started with a story. When I was a kid, my mom and dad brought me to this library and family fun day. During the book scavenger hunt, I wandered into the reading room. And here's the magician as a young boy going into the reading room. There were hundreds of books. Books about dogs, books about planes, books about the sun, flowers, rain, cities, and circus dancers. Out of the hundreds of books, one special book jumped out at me. It was a book about magic. I read and read and read every single word on every single page. I discovered that book wasn't just about magic. I learned that books are magic. Even though I was still in the library, those pages and words took me to places I had dreamed of going. This is how I knew I wanted to become a magician when I grew up. Soon after that, I got my magician's hat. The family fun day crowd had grown. Kids from all over town were eager to see more of the magician's magic. He asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Amy shouted, I want to be a dentist. The magician invited Amy to reach inside his hat. Amy dug deep, deep, and deeper until she felt something. It's, it's a book, Amy shouted. The magician asked, what is your book about? My book's about teeth, cleaning teeth, and fixing teeth, and x-rays. Right away, like magic, Amy saw herself holding dental tools, a toothbrush, and a rinsing cup. But in the library where everyone could see, Amy was hugging her book and smiling. Matt had been watching closely, and after seeing Amy's magic, he wondered what else was in that hat. He called out, I want to be a famous football player. And so the magician offered Matt his hat. Let's see what magic you can find inside. Matt reached in way down. There was something that couldn't fit into just one hand. Matt plunged both hands into the hat and pulled. It's a book about football. It even has my name on it. All at once, like magic, Matt was on the field. Running, tackling, catching, punting, sometimes fumbling, sometimes falling. 
lots of times winning. Ryan called out from the back of the crowd, wait a second, this is not magic. Amy's and Matt's parents must have told the magician what they wanted to be when they grew up. The magician asked Ryan, what do you want to be when you grow up? This was Ryan's chance to prove that the magician was a fake. He snickered and said, a dog. Can you really be a dog when you grow up? Let's see what happens. The magician asked Ryan to reach into his magical hat. Ryan said, I can't feel anything. Sometimes you must really reach and stretch for what you want to be. That's part of the magic. Ryan reached deeper and deeper until his fingers grabbed onto something. He clutched a beautiful book that had nothing to do with dogs. Its pages were filled with letters and paintings and photos and fold out stars, planets, rocket ships. What do you think he secretly wants to be when he grows up? Ryan had always dreamed of becoming an astronaut and exploring the wide open sky, hurtling into outer space and zooming to a far off galaxy. Whoa, whispered Ryan. How did you do that? I am not doing anything, the magician said. You are. I am, asked Ryan, but there's got to be a secret trick in those books. The desires that are within you bring out the magic in the, these books. Follow your dreams and they will take you wherever you want to go. The magician turned his hat so everyone could see inside. What are your dreams? That question made all kinds of magic happen. I hope you enjoyed this book. Maybe it's going to make you think about what you want to be when you grow up. If you would, write down on a piece of paper what you want to be when you grow up or have your mom or dad text and send me a picture or send me a text message or a message request dojo and let me know what you want to be when you grow up. Have a good day. Bye.